And now, let's take a look at your Caribbean report. Out of Nassau, Bahamas, protesters clashed with police and pushed through barricades outside the House of Assembly in Nassau on Wednesday morning as Bahamas telecommunication company unions continued to push to stop the sale of 51% of BTC to cable and wireless communications. A senior officer estimated the size of the crowd at Rawson Square to be between 700 and 800. Protesters and police officers fought through the barricades as police tried to control the crowd, and the doors to the House of Assembly had to be locked. Out of Basseterre St. Kitts, St. Kitts and Nevis Prime Minister Dr. Denzel Douglas says several issues down for discussion at this week's 22nd Intercessional of Caribbean Communication CARICOM, Heads of Government in Grenada all require timely discussion, analysis, and action. Douglas said Caribbean leaders will also address the CARICOM single market and economy, regional health, and develop issues, particularly as they pertain to the establishment of the Caribbean Public Health Agency and climate change. And finally, out of Rosa Dominica, on Tuesday, Dominica Agricultural Producers and Exporters Limited DAPEX sent its first ever shipment of cargo to Barbados. In the past two years, DAPEX has been focusing its effort on Barbados and the regional market. In recent times, LIAT officials confirmed that the air cargo services being provided for Dominica were not being fully utilized. Errol Emmanuel, General Manager of DAPEX, says he is pleased DAPEX was able to export cargo, occupying the full capacity of the plane, and for the first time, Ginger was part of the export portfolio. <music> And that was a look at our Caribbean report. It's time to party this weekend. And for those that may not know, I am Miss Virgin Islands 2010. And look out for me in the Dominican Parade on Sunday. Here's West Miles with more. Hola! All right. Thank you very much, Shaniqua. Yeah, we understand that you're going to be in the parade as well, Miss Shaniqua Robinson, because she went to the Miss Universe. I'm surrounded here by the Dominican Action Committee, Virgin Islands, and Dominican Republic. Mr. Lorenzo from Dion's Construction, the whole crew, we got Manuela here and the whole crew. And I want to big up Public Works as we're here at Canagata Ballpark. They have built this beautiful stage. There he is there, guy making some final staples into the roof you could see there. And then we got some pictures of a guy with paint all over his face from Public Works. So they've been working very hard. And we also understand Public Works after here. They come tear it down after Monday, and then they build one up for the chili cook-off and then relay for life. So they're very busy, and we don't hear about those things from Public Works. But back to the main event. Now, you've had your beauty contest already and all your other activities, but now it's the big one on the 27th, leaving Basin Triangle. It's going to be one big party ending up right here on stage with big bands and everything. I could hear the merengue bachata and the salsa already, baby. All right, Dion, talk to me. You said, you said it all, you said it all. So you said everything already. So uh, good morning, uh, West Mile. Uh, you know, thank you again to be here with us. Uh, here, I'm here with a group of people, Manuela, Mateo, which is the treasurer of the Dominican Action Committee, Dinora, from Sin Restaurant, uh, Rafael Linares, yes. which is uh, one of the member of the committee also. And all these people you see back here, yes. we all of us be working together to make sure that uh, Sunday we're going to bring uh, to you guys, to all of you, uh, a good, good event. We're talking about we're going to have our five bands here that from Santo Domingo we have uh, bachata like you say merengue yes, yes. salsa uh, we have you know, everything for everybody it's so great. so we're gonna start here from 11 o'clock uh, we're gonna have all the tent the food and the drinks available uh, we're gonna start the parade from 1 o'clock starting from West Triangle at the Christian State Police uh, station right so come and join us yeah, like we're showing this here is it. it's not only for the Dominican Republic communities for everybody so yes. you can see here we have showing all the flags showing like my, my next wife is here everybody <laughs> is here i done fell in love yes well i want to talk yeah, we get to we'll keep that on the down low but we have to talk to manuela they got manuela you're a businesswoman and you have your place in princess for, for what 10 years now what is it called rustico rustico which is home decor and everything yes and gift yes we have to make sure we pay you a visit what does this mean <laughs> yeah what does this mean 
to the Action Committee of the Dominican and to tie it up with the United States Virgin Islands? What does it mean to the territory? Okay, uh, you know, it's very important, but we try to show our culture. You know, the Dominican Republic is the second uh, island in size uh, in the Caribbean, and we are also the most important in the culture. Yes, we have the first the first everything, the first university, the first yes, church. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a, a we are a, a country con plenty culture. Yes. And we we want to show what we can do in the in the Virgin Island. We are people that work very hard and we want to celebrate but we are a very happy and friendly country and, and beautiful we, people and we want to share with our um local people here. we yes with our friends and brothers uh, from in the virgin island we want to celebrate now i tengo Tengo que decirlo en español. Yeah. Yeah. You, have to, you have to tell our Spanish brothers and okay. sisters out there a little something. Sí, tienen que venir y compartir con nosotros nuestra cultura eh, y la alegría y el entusiasmo que estamos poniendo en este evento para celebrar con todos los toda la gente que viven en las Islas Vírgenes. Eh, estamos trabajando duro y esperamos su asistencia. Eh, los esperamos el domingo masivamente para que Con nosotros celebremos lo que para los dominicanos es muy importante, nuestra independencia nacional. I know she, I don't know the exact translation, but I bet she said, come on down and have a good time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Where are you running to? Where are you running to? Hi, pretty lady. You're having a good time, and I will definitely see you out here at all the festivities and the parade, right? Yeah. The yeah. next Mrs. Small. Sí. Al Próxima. <laughs> Yo Matrimony. Ya... Sí, yes. no vamos a casar. Mi corazón. Mi corazón es para oh, ti. Oh, my goodness. Oh, brother. Jesus. <laughs> Let me tell you, it, it never ends. We're going to have sí. a great time, right? Yo estoy llamando a todos los amigos, hermanos de la comunidad dominicana, puertorriqueña, crucian, venezolanos, que vengan masivamente a acompañarnos a nuestra independencia, a ser una sola, que Dios los bendiga a todos, vengan a acompañarnos. All okay. right, and, and leave your husband home. Oh. <laughs> I hope that's what she said. No. I tell you, I'm just kidding. We're just we're having a ball. And again, I want to big up Public Works because I didn't know that they were very instrumental in building stages like this, but they are, and a lot of nonprofit organizations like this one. Honk your horns when you see them. You can't miss them. The VI flag and the Dominican Republic flag and lots of salsa, bachata, and merengue, and the whole nine yards. <laughs> Comida. Yes, a lot of food. Comida. I know what that means. I got, right. I got yes. to add. Uh, yes, that uh, we still have a uh, shirt, t-shirt, yes, flags, a hat, and uh, also stickers in our office. All right. So for anyone who is still interested to support us buying a t-shirt, we also given like uh, Linares here. He uh, uh, sponsored 24 flags, car flags. Oh. So anyone who want to pass by the office, where the first 24 person that come to the, come to the office, the Linares who work air conditioning, he sponsored 24 flags for those people who want to support and show their the support to us. It's available at the Young Construction Office. So you just come on and you will get a, a free flag donated by. Rafael Linares. Thank you very much, Mr. Leonardo. Gracias, gracias. And Mr. Lorenzo and everyone here. Again, honk your horns for our Dominican brothers and sisters. We're at Canagata Ballpark, Basin Triangle. It's at 11 o'clock, or 1 o'clock, actually, they kick off. But here, they'll be here already at 11. Get here before the food runs out, and they're going to be partying till next year. All right? We'll see you then. I'm Wes Small at Canagata Ballpark for News Channel 8. Wes is out there having a ball. Coming up next, track and field at the Sinkway Educational Complex. It was a great turnout at the Sinkway Educational Complex track and field event recently. 
Pairs of West with Coach Foy. Thanks a lot, Shaniqua. All right, we got Coach Foy here, track and field um, mentor, uh, former coach, community activist, always trying to get funds for the kids to go abroad and participate in the track and field events. But we had a good turnout, the Ag Fair weekend, and um, y'all did just what the coach wanted you to do, he asked you to do, go to the Ag Fair, get culturized, and then before you go home, see your children run, and it was a good match with all the islands interacting. Yeah, well, so, you know, I'd like to thank everyone who, who came out to the track meet Saturday night. It was an awesome showing at the four uh, high schools. Charlotte and Mali came over, Eudora Ken, Central High, and Education Complex. It was a nice, real, real nice showing our athletes, and I'd like to um, show appreciate everyone who came out, and I'll be out there begging and pleading for some funds to help us get down to Puerto Rico. You know, the Education Complex was denied uh, to the, the uh, payment to go down to Puerto Rico, so I'll be out on the road begging for some funds. And I, I hope that the people will give a donation to it. Thanks, everyone, for coming out again. All right, Coach. You know, I know it seems like we rewind the tape every other night and everyone's scrambling, but I got to tell you, the kids, though, the youth, that, that's the mission, and it's, it's always good to get them in, into the sports areas, man, because we don't have much, but we got a hell of a future. We got some serious kids out there, some good youth, yeah. and they participate in these games and just show up and be there for them. It breaks our heart, like I said, when we don't have people in the stands cheering. Because, man, I still remember my old man in the in the stands. I struck out a lot, but when I knew he was out there, I, I, I try to stick the bat out and get a little hit. So please do what you can. It ain't about me. I know it's about the kids. Thanks a lot, Coach, and thanks for sharing us thanks for with the that track footage, too. I appreciate too. the thing. All right, Coach Foy. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.